Well, good morning to everyone out there. I trust that you are doing well on this Tuesday morning, and uh, we're going to bring you the daily devotional this morning. Um, I know a lot of you out there are probably excited um, as to see what today brings, as today sees a lot of openings back up in our state, at least in the state of Ohio. Um, we're seeing a lot of, uh, of, of things opening back up and, and, and getting back to normal. And um, I know that a lot of people are excited because things are changing on a daily basis. And, 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 and we don't even know what tomorrow is going to hold. Uh, we know that uh, today there's going to be some reopenings and a little later uh, in the week some more and next week some more. But let me tell you what I'm more excited about this morning. I'm more excited to talk about God's Word this morning because uh, unlike all of the things going on in our world around us and all the changes that are happening every day, the God's Word never changes, and that's what I want to talk about this morning. And the scripture that we're going to read this morning is 1 Peter chapter 1 and verses 24 and 25. And this is what the scripture says, For all people are like grass, and all their glory is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of the Lord endures forever. You know, this book, this book is absolutely incredible. Um, there are millions, if not billions of people in this world who would love to see this book destroyed, who have tried to destroy this book. But you know what? I'm sitting here in my dining room and I have a Bible in front of me and I have absolutely zero fear of someone coming through my door and taking this book away. You know why? Because God's word is forever, and it is not going to be taken away. Now, that don't mean that there aren't some countries that you can't freely read the word of God in. But listen, the word of God will never be eradicated from the earth because it is forever. You see, this book is truth, and there is such thing as absolute truth. You can argue all day that you want to and bring up any points that you want to that when there are no clowns, the sky is green. But the absolute truth is the fact that the sky is blue and you can't change that. The Bible is the same way. You can argue all the points you want to. But in the end, in the end, there is absolute truth. You see, this book holds absolute truth because this book speaks of Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is the truth. And here's the great thing about this book. There's never been an archaeological dig in the history of the world that has ever disputed any facts in this book. There's never been a historical find, tablets, um, any other type of thing that we've found in history that has disputed not even one finding in this book. There's never been a prophecy that hasn't come true in this book. And the reason for that is it was written by God through men, but written by God. And it is the truth and it is good for then, and it is good for now, and it always will be good. Because as for, as Peter says in First Peter, the word of the Lord endures forever. So as our world around us changes, as things happen, and, and you know, ten, five months ago, nobody would have guessed uh, this coronavirus uh, mess that's going on. Our world changes almost on a daily basis. But where you can find your solace is this. Once you're done in that world, you can walk back into your house or wherever you live at the end of the day, and you can sit down in front of this word and know that this word and God never changes. And that's a great hope to carry me between now and the time either the Lord comes back or he calls you home. Hope you uh, get something out of this, um, and I hope you're comforted by the word of God this morning. Um, have a great day, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.